In this video, I will show you how you can AI upscale videos of any size four times using Stable Diffusion. We will use Blender and a Blender plugin that works together with Stable Diffusion that is running on Google Colab. At the time of recording, Google Colab is free to use for everyone, so that means that the whole setup will be free to use for everyone. But before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the necessary links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. If you like AI generated content or looking for digital art in general, then you will like the sponsor of this video. Thanks to Creative Fabrica for sponsoring this video. If you are looking for creative digital art and graphics, then you should definitely check out Creative Fabrica. It is one of the largest marketplaces for creators and designers with a library of over 6 million fonts, graphics and digital print-on-demand assets. Recently Creative Fabrica launched their first AI image generator called CF Spark. Using CF Spark you can create images that are 100% unique, you can download your own unique creations or publish them on the platform for paid use by other members and that way monetize your AI creations. You can try it out for free or with a monthly $9 subscription. With the subscription you get 1000 speed credits that allow you to jump to the top of the queue and get your AI images first without waiting in line. In addition to regular discounts and daily deals, they also have a contest where you can win store credits with your AI designs created in CF Spark. So if you are interested, you can check out the link in the upper right corner or down in the description and unleash your creativity today with Creative Fabrica. As in the previous videos, we will use the plugins from this repository. And here we are interested in the patched version of the Blender plugin and the Google Colab backend here. I already installed the plugin in Blender and also my Google Colab is running here in the background. So in this video I will skip the plugin installation, I will also skip the Google Colab setup. If you are interested how to set everything up, then you can check out my previous video. The link to the video should be up there or down in the description. Now with that said, let's go over to Blender and let's see how the plugin works. Here I am in Blender and I'm using the version 3.4.1. The first thing that I will do, I will just quickly set up the plugin. So go to Edit, Preferences, and here under Add-ons you should see the AI Render plugin, the patched version. Let's expand this one. The new patched version is the 6.6.1. .6 and now if I scroll down, Stable Diffusion backend should be Google Colab. And for the backend URL, I will paste the link from Google Colab. That's it, we are good to go. So let's close that. Now we need to import a video. We don't need the 3D viewport. So I will change this one to the movie clip editor. Now let's open a video file. I will choose this one and open. Here it is. I will zoom out a bit. So this is a high definition video, a vertical one. Now here on the right in the numbers panel you can see the video is 1080 x 1920. It has 318 frames playing at 30 frames per second. Now the best practice would be to set the end frame and the start frame down here in the timeline. Let's set end. 318 and start is already at frame 1. Let's try to play it but before we do that we need to go to clip and prefetch frames and now the video is loaded into the memory and now let's play it. So this is it. The sea and the horizon. Now let's see how we can upscale this one. Let's change the window to video sequencer and change the sequencer to sequence and preview and now let's add the imported clip this is the one let's zoom a bit out here we need to adjust the size of the video so go to output properties we know the video is a vertical one so let's change the format like that 1920 and the frame rate is 30 is it playing yes it is all right now go to render and in here, I will make this one a bit bigger. You should see AI Render. Let's enable that. Now scroll down. Now here the plugin warns us that we need a certain image size. But for upscaling we can ignore this. Just go to Advanced Options. And now under Model, select Upscale. And now the warning is gone. Alright, we don't need a preset style. For the prompt, I will write Blue Sea Horizon. Also I will set Steps. To 10 because I don't want to wait too long and this is basically everything we need and we can start upscaling 
The upscaler in this patched version of the Blender plugin works similar as the one in the GIMP plugin that I showed you in a previous video. In that video we used stable diffusion to upscale images in GIMP, there you can also upscale images of any size, it's really cool, so if you're interested you can check out the link to the GIMP video up there or down in the description. So as in GIMP, the plugin will slice the image into pieces of 256 by 256 and it will send each slice to the stable diffusion backend, which will then upscale the slice four times. The upscaled slice will have the size 1024 by 1024. The backend will send every upscaled slice back to Blender and Blender will then try to stitch those upscaled slices back to a full upscaled image. This upscaled image is then one upscaled frame. Then it will go to the next frame and so on. In our case we have an HD video. So if you do the math then you will see that every frame will be sliced into 40 slices. And all this for 318 frames. 40 times 318 gives us more than 12,000 slices that need to be upscaled. To upscale one slice on Google Colab with 10 steps, it will take about 20 to 30 seconds. Now multiply this with 12,000 and you will need to wait for 4 to 5 days to upscale a 10 second HD video. Now if you want you can do it, but for this demonstration I will start with upscaling only one frame of this video. Now to upscale this one frame only, go to operation and make sure run automatically on render is checked. And now before I render this one it looks like the colors are a bit off, so let's fix that. In the same render properties, scroll down to color management and here set view transform to standard. Now the colors look as they should. Now go to render, render image and let's see what we'll get. Render. Now if I take a look at Google Colab, here in Google Colab you can see the progress of each slice that's being upscaled. The upscaled slice was now sent back to Blender and now here comes the next slice. This will now happen 40 times and then after that we will see the full upscaled image in Blender. So let's wait for the end result. Now after about 30 minutes the rendering of this one frame finished. This one is still the original frame and up here you can find the upscaled one. And here it is, let me zoom out a bit. The size of this image is 5120 times 8192 and now here on the edges you can definitely see the slices and overall if I zoom in you can also see the seams of the rest of the slices. So as in GIMP this is a problem when you slice the image and then try to upscale each slice individually and we upscaled only with 10 steps which doesn't give us the best quality. And now for the question what are those edge pieces here? As in GIMP, if the size of the original image is not a power of 2, like 1024, 2048 and so on, in that case the original image will be extended and those are the edge pieces. The upscaled versions look a bit weird because the upscaler didn't know what to do with those edge pieces. So if you can, make sure the size of the original footage is a power of 2 or you will have to crop those away from the upscaled image. Now this was a single image, a single frame, which was big already. Now let's see how to upscale a video go back to the default layout. We will not upscale the full video because this would take too long. Let's just take one part of the video and let's upscale this part only. So let's go to output properties and let's set the format to 256 times 128. So we will upscale only this smaller part. Let me zoom in and let's open numbers panel, transform. Let's move this one a bit up and a bit to the side. So let's upscale this part with the windsurfers and I actually used this footage in a previous video where I inpainted the windsurfers and removed them from the video. So if you're interested how to AI inpaint videos using stable diffusion then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. So let's take only the last few seconds of the video because I don't want to wait too long. Let's say from this frame 222, let's set this as the start frame like that. I will move the frame a bit to the right so that also this one is in the frame and let's stop at 300. So end frame 300, that's fine. Alright, move to beginning, again render options and now down here expand animation and here you will need to select an output path, so let's do that. I will take this folder and accept. Now the render animation button is enabled and let's try it out, let's see what we'll get. Render. Again let's take a look at Google Colab, here you can see the slices that are being upscaled and they are sent back to Blender and now if I check the output folder, here you can see the output frames. 
So let's wait till the end. All right, all 79 frames upscaled. We can also see them here, all 79. So if I select that one and scroll a bit in. So this is one of the upscaled frames. The size of every frame is now 1024 times 512. And maybe it's not so obvious here, but also every frame was sliced into two slices. And then each slice was upscaled, sent back to Blender, and then stitched back together. And maybe you can see the stitch here in the middle. Now let's render this one out to a video file. Go to Layout. This is the original one, and you can definitely see that the quality isn't as good as the upscaled one. Go to Output Properties, and let's set the format to the upscaled one. So 1024 times 512. Zoom a bit out. And now let's go to Add image sequence. Here is my output folder. And now sort the images by name. Select the first one and scroll down to the last one. Hold shift and select the last one and add. And here it is. Let's play it. So this is it. Now let's render this one out back to the first frame. Then here, file format, select FFmpeg video. My head is in the way, but this is it. Then here, select the output directory. I will select the same folder where the images are and accept. Now go back to render options and let's uncheck run automatically. And now go to render and render animation. This is it. Now let's find the video. Here is the video file. Let's play it. And this is the upscaled video. And that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then please give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. It keeps me motivated, it makes the channel grow. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.